show you how to crochet a granny square with my chunky thread. So here's this cute little pin cushion that I'm eventually going to make these granny squares into. But first I want to show you how to make a granny square. So for my square I do five rounds. So you need five colors and this is the granny square that I'm going to make. My chunky thread is size two and I'm using a 3.5 hook or an E. And so let's start with the pink. So you're just going to get your yarn on your hook and you're going to chain four to make your center loop. And you're going to join it into the first chain and slip stitch. And now you've got your little ring right here in the middle and that's where you're going to start your stitches. But first you're going to do what I like to call a stunt double stitch. You have to do two chain and that's like your pretend first double crochet in your set of three clusters, meaning here's like three double crochets, three double crochets, but as you go around you need to start out in height so you chain two first for your stunt double. Okay, so we chain two and that counts as our first double crochet. Then we're going to do two more double crochets. So that's going to count as three double crochets in a row there. And then we're going to chain two to form the corner. And we're going to continuously crochet inside of this center ring. So now we're going to do three double crochets in a row. This is the hardest part, just getting it started because it's the smallest part to hold on to. So there's another set of three double crochets and I'm going to chain two again for the next corner. This chunky thread color that I'm using is peony. Okay, now I'm going to do another set of three double crochets. I'm trying to get my tail out of the way there. Okay, there's the third set. Working our way around, we've got a chain two for the third corner. I'm going to do my last set of three double crochets in a row. Okay, so there we have this first set, second set, third set, fourth set with two chains in between. I have to chain two as well and then I'm going to join into the top of this chain two that I did in the beginning. So you just kind of go in one way, kind of push your hook through, there you go. And when you're joining it's just a slip stitch. So now we need to change colors. So how you end this off is I like to pull up a little bit, take my scissors, cut the tail, and then pull that tail in through the loop and pull it up like this. This is how my grandma taught me how to do it a long time ago. So there I have, you can lay it down and stretch it out a little bit. There I have my first round see of four sets like this. So what I do to hide the tail is I use a yarn needle and a yarn needle is pretty big so that it has a big eye in here and what I like to do is go under some place just in the back so it's not going to show. I like to put my needle in first and then then I like to put my yarn in the eye and just pull it through, reshape it so that you haven't lost your shape, 
and then trim it off the tail ends. So there's the front side and that's what the back side looks like. The front side you can kind of see the chains going around a little bit more. So now the second color that I want to do is red. So this is Riley red right here. So you're just going to put put it on the hook, the hook, just your loop, however you like to do that, but it's just like that, single. And I like to start in a corner, any corner, it doesn't matter. And you just put your hook in the corner, grab your yarn, come through, and that's a slip stitch. So now you've joined with a slip stitch, and you're going to do two chain. That's going to count as your first double crochet. So now I need to do two more to complete that set. So there's the first set of three. I need to chain two for my corner. And then I'm going to kind of slide that down to make room. And I'm going to do another set in that same corner of three double crochets. So that's what the granny square consists of, is just several sets of three double crochets in a row. So there's that corner three, chain two, and three double crochets. Then I'm going to skip over to the next corner and do a double crochet. So two, three, chain two in between for the corner, slide it down a little bit, and do another set of three double crochets together. Skip over to the next corner and do the same thing. This was one of the first things, the very first thing in fact, that my grandma taught me to crochet when I was six because once you get these stitches down, it's just the repetitive motion over and over again. So they're really fun and pretty addicting to make. So I did my first three chain two I have to do two more double crochets to finish that set of three off in this corner. Oh, got a little thread in there. And then I have to do my last corner here. again in the top of this chain two that I started with. So I'm ignoring these two double crochets that I did after the chain two and joining in this top chain. And when I say join, I'm doing a slip stitch. And how you do that is you just pull it through the loop. And then we're going to end the color again. So I'll pull up the loop, cut off the tail, Pull the tail through the loop, pull it down, and then we're going to hide our tail in the back, just how I showed you before. You can do one at a time if you want, but I think it's just as easy stick two in there and you can do them opposite directions. It doesn't matter. You're going to pull it through anyway. So, And then you want to make sure that when you pull it through, you're not scrunching that down too far. I always stretch it back out, pull it back out, shape it how it needs to be shaped, and then trim off the edges. Okay, first two rows are down. Turn it back to the right side and Next, I'm going to use Riley Green. Pull up the tension. And again, start in any corner. I'm going to join with a slip stitch. There's my slip stitch, starting a new color. Chain two. 
whenever I chain two, the second chain, I always try to make sure it's loose enough because remember when I go around, I'm gonna to have to join into the top. So I like to make it a little bit loose. So I have to do two double crochets. So there's my set of three, chain two, because this is a corner. Another set of three double crochets together. Okay, so now on row three, now you see we have this hole here, these holes that are in the center of the corners. So all you're gonna do is one set of three double crochets in there. And then you're just going to move on to the corner. Make another corner, go all the way around just like that for round three. And you get to the center, just do a set of three double crochets again. It's time for another corner. Chain two for that corner. Chain three in this last. So we finished this last set of three double crochets and you're going to join again in that chain to finish your row. got round three. I'm finished with that color. I'm going to weave in my ends. It only takes a minute. You can you can save them all until the end and weave them in, but I think it's just as easy. It takes the same amount of time to do it as you go. And it keeps it neater. Okay, now for round four, join with a slip stitch, chain two, making that second chain just a little bit loose, and then continue with your two double crochets for that one, chain two, forming your corner. Now there's two holes across here that you're gonna do a set of three double crochets again in each hole, just the same. So it's just the same kind of thing, you're just increasing the amount of double crochets as you go around, making the square bigger. Just gonna go right into that hole. It's time to go into the corner and do the two sets of three double crochets together with the chain two between them. So I'll set one, chain two,
so we have one more set of three double crochets before we're finished with this round. Again, we're just going to join it in the top of this chain two. with a slip stitch. And in that color. Okay, so it's a cute little granny square with four rows, but we're going to put the fifth row on to make it the size of the pin cushion that we need. So the final row, this is peacock, join with a slip stitch, chain two, and then start with your double crochet sets. to go in to do your sets of three double crochets. So you could just keep doing this granny square bigger and bigger until it's pillow sized or baby blanket size. They're really fun to do. It's really fun to have all the different colors, I think. Getting to the last row here, finishing up, just a few sets of three. Okay, getting to the last set of three before we join. Okay, then we're going to weave the ends on our last row. square. Isn't that cute? So now I have two the same and I'm going to show you how to block them with my blocking board. What blocking does is it makes them nice and square 
so that they're the same size so that you can put them together. <laughs>